What is up, men NFL 25 gamers? In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at another great tip of the week, and, and I think you guys are ready for the fake blitzing technique. Um, we've been talking a lot about beginner tips and, and some of the things that guys who play this game don't necessarily know how to do. They have to be taught that, and it's, it's something that's in the game that you don't really know what's in the game until you, someone tells you. So, beginner tips, uh, we've been over, last couple of times we've been over run commit, we've been over uh, read option defense, we've been over... You know, the, the, uh, as far as the controls, and today I think we're ready to start blitzing. Now, next week we're going to talk about how to how to create a blitz, how to create your own blitz in Men NFL 25. But what we're going to talk about today is the fake blitzing concept, which we'll be able to use in next week's segment um, on how to create your blitz. So basically, what the fake blitzing concept is is the idea is that you're going to uh, occupy an offensive lineman um, by acting like you're going to blitz and then basically dropping into coverage. So essentially, fake blitz. And uh, what we like to do, this is something we like to do for the 44 defense. We can do it out of a, obviously we can do it out of many other defenses that we like to use in this game. But 44 is probably the best one that I like to do it from. And I like to do it from um, the play zone blitz, or dog zone blitz. But we'll show you it out of two deep. It can be done out of any play in this game, or in this um, playbook here. And it's, it's all hot routes. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up two-way pressure. So we're, our goal is to get double edge pressure, but we're only going to send... Um, um, five guys at the quarterback, and we're gonna have um, we're gonna actually send. I think actually we'll send seven at the line of scrimmage. Um, he'll read it as we're sending seven, but we're only gonna send five. Uh, I believe total. So that's the goal here. So, anyways, let's take a look at this. So what we wanna do obviously is we wanna base the line our defense so that the linebackers go in the proper position. Then we're gonna crash our line out. We're gonna spread our linebackers. We're gonna reblitz both of them off the edge and actually what I like to do is reblitz them first um, and then spread them out so apologize for that but that's what we'll that's the front that we'll get and see if I get them to spread there we go so we'll spread them and then what we like to do with this and you can actually if you uh, want to you can drop Melton into any zone you want I like to do two, two spies this is my short yardage play and I'll buzz zone or I'll flat zone these corners um, but that has nothing to do with the pressure. The main key here is we're going to put our safety on a contain. You see how he's going to occupy the center because uh, he's blitzing. His blitz angle here is now straight down the center. We want to get him to occupy the left guard. So we're going to move him to the left a couple of steps, and there you see he's going to be on the left guard. That's what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to hold uh, left trigger on Xbox 360 or L2 on PlayStation 3. Um, to show you this is basically just a simple pressure the goal is to get two-way heat here snap the ball and you see we succeed with a two-way pressure um, we have two spies and we have um, obviously we can drop back with that user player once the offensive lineman pick him up so what I like to do with this is I'll set this up and this is like I said this is a really pretty a good a pretty good short yardage play in my opinion to put those flats out there and basically Hayden's already going to drop down because he's going to fake blitz and then you're free to use in the middle so he drops down fake blitz and then now we're user controlling and now we still get the two-way pressure so let's take a look at what exactly happens uh, in this pressure real quick before I get too carried away with it because I think this is actually a pretty good blitz um, so the two spies are going to drop out and what that's going to do is it's going to hold them for long enough for the blitzer, for the outside linebackers to get deep enough on the upfield. And then what also happens, if you pay attention to 73, you see that he is always, and let me get you a little better angle. This is why fake blitzing is so important, um, to, to at least know how to do it. You see how his eyes are always going to be locked in on that safety? You see that? Their eyes, that's who they're going to be looking at. So that's who they're guarding. They're basically occupied by these three. These three linemen block no one. And there you see the pressure, the two guys coming free off the edge. I feel like this is one of the better concepts and, and most overused concepts in the game. Now, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can do it for that reason to get easy pressure. So one thing we could do from this, if we didn't want to get two-way, if we only get, wanted to get one-way pressure, or excuse me, single-edge single, single edge pressure, we would just reboot the left of screen linebacker here. We could crash our line out like so. And then we could do a couple of different things to get that. If we wanted it to look the same as the two-way heat, then what we could do is we could drop Melton into a, a hook zone, I believe. And I'm pretty sure we can spy both guys on the right side of the screen. 
Um, I think that'll work. I hope it will. And we again, we still want to place that contain over that guard so it looks exactly the same. And now you should see left side pressure, and of course you know. Um, part of the reason for that is because it really doesn't work as good as the two-way look. Let's take a look at that instant replay. And you see here, you see how we do a good job here of getting the right side occupied? I think we're a little bit too far in on that play. So let's take a look at this again. And like I said, I like to, I like to leave Melton on a spy. So what I would do with this is I would take Melton, I'd leave him on a spy, I'd throw McClellan on a contain, and then I, um, I would put Wooten here on a quarterback spy as well. I always like to have two quarterback spies uh, for this concept. And then uh, just out of 4-4 mainly for this first concept where we're occupying the guard. So now here we're going to sit over the guard like so. And then we're just going to hold L2 to the snap the ball. And there you see pretty good pressure. And it looks, it appears that we're only sending like two people. But, I mean, in reality it's more like five, we're sending five with a fake blitz. So, so um, you know, you could you can judge that for whatever you want. It's not that big of a, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a game-changing concept, but I feel like it's very effective for beginner tips. So, and then one other way I want to show this concept is, it, we can occupy a tackle from sliding over. So one of the things I really like to do, and a popular concept from Madden 12 was to put a quarterback spy on the opposite side that you're going to get pressure from, and put a purple zone on that outside. And that would typically that would come in, but in this game, it doesn't. You see the guard slides over, and it's not it's not as good as it could be. So with a couple of adjustments using this fake blitzing technique, we can actually make it pretty good. So what I like to do to, for this is, uh, again, we'll just show it to you off the left first. So we'll crash our line out. We'll re that in to set set the pressure up on the left side. Okay, so that's what it will look like on the left side. We need to figure out how we can make the right side work properly for the pressure to come in. What I like to do the most is I'll take um, these two guys here. I'll put them in quarterback spies, and then I'll take Hayden. Move him to the hash mark. You see here he's over the guard. You want to get him over the tackle. So hash mark. So they see now he's going to go wide. And then you just hold L2 to snap the ball. And you're going to get that pressure off that left edge with two spies underneath. I don't know. I just really like spies in this game. I feel like they do a really good job of those drag routes and stuff. So I'm more of a fan of spies. But I believe you can actually um, drop them in any zone you want. But I really am a big fan of the double spies. You see we have the user player over top. This is actually a really good... Uh, concept for getting pressure in this game. And again, you're just putting him on a contain with your hot routes. We went over those uh, in the beginning of the week. And make sure but make sure you take him to the right hash so that he goes wide. If he's here, that's not what you need. You want to have him here on the outside here. So, okay, so there's that. And then we'll show you the... We could possibly drop this zone off. I'm not quite sure if we can. Um, yeah, the guard will slide over. That's the only problem with that. But it's still something, you know, it's still pretty effective in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, another thing you could do with this, if you wanted to, is you could just leave Wooten blitzing. If, if you're playing like a Peyton Manning, you don't need a quarterback spy or whatever. You could leave Wooten blitzing straight down. You could take McClellan here, whatever you want. It doesn't matter what hot route you want. Man him up, whatever, spy, contain, blitz him, it doesn't matter. But you could put him in any zone, any man coverage assignment you want. If you're going to put Hayden out there like so, it's still going to work. The pressure's still going to come in off that left edge. All you have to do is hold L2. At, or left L2 or L trigger, depending on what system you're in, and you're good. And it's going to work every single time. That's the cool part. Because, like, you think, you, you would think, you know, that if they slid their line to the left, which I'm, I'm pretty sure this will work. I haven't actually tested this. But it should work. It's the same. It's all the same stuff. But again, we put the end in a buzz zone. We're containing with this guy that's going to give us one extra guy in coverage. You'd think if they slid their line left, they'd pick it up. But they they pick it up right as he's getting there, and it's still not as you know. You're still gonna he's gonna feel that pressure, guys. I'm telling you right now. And that's one of the things I really like. I'm I'm um, you know probably obliged to say. My favorite is the double spy. I really like that because what you can do with it is you can take Anderson, put him in a buzz zone. You could take Grant here, put him in a buzz zone, and then you would, after you fake blitzed, you would just come down over to the middle here. And you'd be good. It'd be a really balanced coverage defense. And it's, I mean, you're really only sending, I mean, the spies get a, a little, you know, they do a really good job in coverage in my opinion. So you really would only send a couple of guys. 
You mean you're only sitting three? Uh, I I feel like you're still sitting five. Um, because I I would say spies are probably at least half a rusher, but it's just I, I feel like it's pretty good. I feel like it you know it can help you guys out. So that's the contain blitz or not the contain blitz, but the fake blitz concept. And you could do it from a straight down blitz angle too. It's just the one thing I don't like about the straight down blitz angle is it's harder to recover after you've done it. So here we'll line him up right over the guard, set up the same look that we were sending earlier that was getting in, and it may not even get double sided pressure this time. I mean, okay, so it did get double sided pressure, but it, it's harder to recover with the blitzing with the with the with the straight down blitz, in my opinion. Um, one other concept you can do is you can put him in a hook zone and just stand there at the snap. So say we wanted to send pressure off the right edge we wanted to get this um, we wanted to get this backer free and we wanted to get a zone we wanted to put the D end in a zone so that's what we want to do and then so we'll just zone that out what we'll do is we'll bring him down like so and we'll put him in either you can put him in a contain if you want I'll put him in a, butt, a hook zone and I'm gonna sit there and just hold L2 and R2 at the snap of the ball or left trigger and right trigger and he's just going to stand there. And the idea is you're going to occupy that lineman just by standing there. He's going to he's going to focus on you. So, you know, obviously it's a little bit difficult to do in the 4-4 just based off the formation's alignment. But we'll show you it here real quick. So you would basically just sit on the outside hip uh, of the guy you're trying to occupy. So you're occupying the tackle, so you're going to sit on the outside hip of him. L2, R2, snap at the ball. You're going to come in like you're blitzing, and then you're going to drop out before he can touch you. And you see it's the same basic idea. But I don't think it's as effective as the contain blitz or top fake blitz. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this beginner tip. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 tips like this. Next week we're going to break down how to build your very own blitzing scheme in Madden 25, what a blitzing scheme is, and uh, some of the terminology involved in defense in Madden 25. Maybe it can help you guys out. I hope it does. If this tip helped you out, be sure to retweet, like it, and also tell your friends about this video. And if it did not help you out, let me know what I can do to improve. Thanks for watching this week, guys. I'll see you guys next week with another great beginner tip. And also, be sure to cut, subscribe. Um, if you're not already subscribed, uh, one of the things I did want to touch on real quick before I go is I don't just post tips like this. I post, you know, blitz breakdowns. I post scheme breakdowns. I post play breakdowns. I post gameplays. All Madden 25 content that I can cover, I try to cover for you guys for free. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you guys are interested in that, just hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.